Hello, YouTube viewer. How are you? Okay, now that we got the pleasantries out of the way, let's get right into the video. I'm going to be comparing the stock BVS HD motor versus the stock Cyclone motor. And I'll go into hot rodding them at the end of the video. Number one, legality. They're probably both considered illegal depending on where you live. There's a couple places where a thousand watts is considered street legal, but most places 750 watts is comp considered street legal. So check your um, localities and whether or not you need it to comply with local laws or whatever. So that may be a factor for you, maybe not. But if you're thinking about getting a Cyclone, Cyclone is just way more power stock. It'll handle up to 72 volts at 40 amps, whereas the BBS HD is 52 volts at 30 amps. So you're talking about twice the amount of watts getting through, which means top speeds of pushing 50 miles an hour, depending on what kind of bike you use. Whereas a BBS HD is probably around 35. So if you're just looking for a hot rod, you want a dirt bike alternative, something like that, and you just need top speed, I'd go with the Cyclone. If you want something that's refined and something that's tunable and you get a lot of data and like, just, it, it feels smooth. The BBS HD is the way to go. It still puts out a lot of power. You can put a smaller chain ring up front and get a, a big toothed cog in the rear and you could get a wheelie machine out of it that'll climb anything. So if, if you gear a BBS HD, you can make it per, you know behave similar to the Cyclone. The BBS HD you know, comes with a display that has a speedometer, nine different pedals of uh, levels of pedal assist on it. It's just much more refined. It's a little bit quieter. It's all in one. The controller is mounted into the, the motor. It just looks clean. It's much more refined. The Cyclone, you can put a pedal assist sensor on it and you could run pedal assist on it. In my experience, I, I put it on. I didn't like it. I just turned it off because it was just on or off and it just, it was annoying. And I didn't want to have to put on brake sensors and all. There's, I don't know. It was like a, maybe, maybe by the time you're watching this, somebody is uh, come up with some software, some programming, and a display that you could dial in the pedal assist levels just like a Bafang, and those differences are now different. But in my opinion, the pedal assist feature was clunky at best on the Cyclone. The Cyclone is louder, but not by much. I mean, it's an electric motor. It's not like a gas-powered motor. It just You hear it whining a little bit more, but nothing crazy. And I don't know, I think it sounds kind of cool. It sounds like a futuristic machine, like like. I don't know. And you just, you hear it and you feel it. And it's, I think it's kind of cool. The Cyclone is not going to be nearly as reliable as the BBS HD. It's got two chain rings, two chains. It puts a lot of strain on your bike. I mean, it's a bicycle we're talking about here. And you're talking about something that puts out five horsepower close to, I mean, on a little bicycle, aluminum frame, depending on what kind of bike you got, you're probably going to be breaking more things like chains, cogs, possibly your frame um, with that Cyclone putting that much power to it. Uh, whereas the BBS HD, it's half the power. So, and even that, I would say the BBS HD is pushing the maximum amount of power that I would want going through a drivetrain on a bicycle. But if you're just looking for frills and you're just a, you know, an adrenaline junkie, probably go with the Cyclone. You could always dial it down. It's programmable. Um, you could get the Bluetooth controller and just program it down and make it behave how you want from your phone. So you could just change it as you're riding and make it behave how you want and make it last forever if you really wanted to, although you would be losing out on all the fun. Just to touch on, you can hot rod a BBS HD to make it run 72 volts at ungodly amount of amps to give it the same power that a, a Cyclone does. The only thing is though, is that the BBS HD is a smaller motor. So it's like hot rodding a little Honda Civic engine instead of just getting a big V8 engine to get the same amount of power. It's gonna be less strain on that V8 engine than it is on that supercharged Honda Civic engine. It's like they say, there's no replacement for displacement in the automotive world. It's the same thing for electric motors. You get a big motor, it could just, it could handle things better than a smaller one can. So yeah, if you're planning on pulling things, climbing steep hills, go with the Cyclone, try to do an internally geared hub with a single speed chain on it, and that'll make it last a lot longer. Get an internally geared hub that can handle that amount of power. Otherwise, an HD geared properly could also get you some really good results as well. Also, if you're doing the install yourself, a BBS 
SHD install, in my opinion, is a lot easier than the Cyclone. It just seems to go a lot easier and more secure. That may be a factor as well. All right, enough with my ramblings, guys. Feel free to ask me any questions and I'll do my best to answer them. I usually read all the comments and I try to respond to most of them, even if they're hate-filled towards me. All right, later, guys.